Hello guys and welcome back to today's episode. This is episode number two and I am excited to get back into the swing of things. I couldn't wait to get on and uh, start recording again. Um, now I've uh, fixed up this farm a little. As you see um, I got everything planted. I've been doing a lot of farming off camera and uh, we have quite a few pumpkins. I should probably just harvest these now while I'm here until my axe breaks. And speaking about my axe breaking, I have chopped down so many trees that uh, I was able to put this together. So um, I just went over and bred these guys. Um, but this is a cow pen. We have sheep here and I want to do chickens in this one. Uh, I thought we had some chickens, um, turns out we didn't, but I made this um, pen all out of fence um, fence posts. I went and took two pieces of wool and made three of these. Uh, these are carpets. It is uh, an easy way for you to jump up and into a, a fence area because you can't actually jump on a fence. I know. This makes it higher, but yet you can jump on this. Either way, um, so I've done that to all of these, and I've chopped down a crap ton of trees. Uh, you'll also see over here, I have another chest. This is all for mining. Yes, guys, I went mining, and I took care of a lot. Now, this dirt is actually from right where those guys were. That was all dirt, and I removed it. I am going to sleep because I don't want to die and uh, we have a ton of sweet berries now our sugar cane has grown quite a lot um, I've actually surrounded uh, this little pond and I'm working on getting it all the way over here it's cool that this is all double oh these are singles I'll wait till it grows just a little more and then I'll uh, farm all that now we have a ton of redstone a bunch of iron and coal and I think there's yeah there's even more iron in here so these are the valuables um, this is the valuable chest this is our um, farming um, we have tree saplings we have wheat we have apples you know pretty much all of the goods but look how many sweet berries we have guys I can't believe it they, they just grow so freaking fast I even made this a little bit bigger. I bumped it out two on each one and added a fourth row. And now I'm thinking I didn't really need that because um, you get a lot, like a lot of sweet berries. So at some point, I'll probably end up just stop harvesting these and holding on to them. Um, we do have better food sources, so, um, but it's always nice to have. Um, so I'm going to go and collect these, but I have another update. While I was mining, you'll see I didn't get any diamonds in that chest over there. And that's because I've been waiting for you guys. So we do have uh, some diamonds waiting for us to mine. Um, but before we do that, I need to go ahead and make some pickaxes and I'm also going to make um, an axe because I'm running low on that too so we're just gonna stick these back in here I'll keep the dirt with me uh, let's make some torches before we leave there we go put those in our inventory and BAM all right guys let's head over to the mine um, also I made this little path and kind of lit it up that way there's no mobs spawning right here as I'm trying to run back after mining so I went and did that um, I should probably take these trees down to be honest they're a little bit in the way but it's fine for now look at that cute little bee up there all right so first off um, I made it all the way down to Y11 uh, sometimes I mine on Y12. This I just happened. I thought I was on 12 and I was on 11. Um, but before we do that, we need to go up here to where we originally found that cave. 
think is this the one yes it is so um if you guys remember that's where we died randomly from the invisible guy now um i didn't make it further over there but i did um start mining because i heard some lava oh look at that there's iron right there um and uh i came down i was looking for lava because uh, i heard you know i heard it i saw it i should say um so i came down here and guys look at that oh my gosh i haven't got close to it yet so um i only made it here and then i stopped and decided to turn around so um this might take a little bit of finagling and i hope to god there's more than one diamond down there um if not, still, one diamond is better than none. And I actually see some iron over there as well. Uh, and it looks like another pocket of lava. So, we'll definitely... Oh, perfect. That's what I like to see. So, uh, what we have to do is actually take... Some of this dirt. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I think if I do that, I should have removed. Awesome. Perfect. All right, guys. First diamonds. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you? Are you? Should I? Oh, no. Not yet. Oh, maybe. No, not yet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was almost a perfect vein of diamonds. Uh, a perfect one is eight. It comes in a block um, four by two high. Just trying to see if I could see any more. But I'm going to take this iron because uh, we definitely need a lot of it. Um, iron is one of those things that you go through a ton. So I can't wait to go ahead and set up an iron farm. Um, and there's a really cool one that I'm excited to try because it also is an automatic farmer. Now we do need villagers, so we will have to go and find them. Um, we did pass villages on the way, so we might have to stop back there. But those were quite a distance away. So the only other way to get them when they're that far away is through like a nether portal. And uh, I mean, we're almost there, but uh, not quite. I just tried to jump with the block above my head. All right, so we're going to keep this one just like that for now. Um, yeah, I've, I've kind of cleared out all of this area. I haven't made it over to the mine shaft yet. And, oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. We have full armor now. I went and made that at the end of last episode. Um, and before I go over here and try to get this all started, I am actually going to come back this way. Because at the top of here is where I decided to dig down to Y11. And that's where we started to actually uh, do a little bit of branch mining. Now I did the um, branch and I think it's called branch and poke. Where uh, here I'll show you like this. You just hit five blocks here and that way you get to see everything around. Um, and then you space two and do the same thing. Um, while doing that, I ran into a few different ores that I still haven't picked up apparently. Um, oh, look at this. That's quite a bit. So I'm guessing we're in a mountain biome right now only because we're finding gold. So let's check that out. We are in... Where is the biome? Mountains, yep. Yeah. So um, it's on your left-hand side underneath your X, Y, and Z. If you keep going, you'll see biome. It says Minecraft uh, mountains. Uh, when you're in the mountains, you also are able to find emeralds, which is awesome because we have a couple of those. Um, I'm going to grab this iron real quick, and then we're going to go get the other diamonds that we found, um, which I have no idea how big the vein is. Uh, actually, I do. That's a lie. I dug this one completely out. I think it's over here. 
Man, how far? Did, oh, there we go. There it is. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again. Guys, we are now up to 14 diamonds. That is ridiculous. I don't think... Uh, the last set of diamonds actually is way down at the beginning. So I made it all the way down here doing that little um, five hit poke thing. And uh, it was working pretty well. I mean, obviously we found diamonds. But um, the next time I went and grabbed some pickaxes, I came down here. It... Yeah, came down here. There we go. And... Um, yeah, I just made it all the way down. There was a bunch of iron and redstone here and coal. And uh, oh, there's still more coal there. But this is where the diamonds are. Now, this isn't the biggest vein ever. It's only four, but I will still take four. So we should now be at 18 diamonds, guys. Fantastic. You know, for our second episode having 18 diamonds is great um, I want to go ahead and make a pickaxe um, first and then uh, maybe we'll go down and get some lava um, and turn that into excuse me um, sorry I totally lost where I was there we go uh, we'll turn that into some obsidian and uh, then we can make a nether portal, guys. We can jump straight into the nether right away because this is a nether update. We want to spend a lot of time there. Uh, and I plan on making a huge nether hub this time. Um, and we're going to break through the bedrock and go straight up to the roof. Um, I can't wait to start finding ancient debris and getting some really awesome items. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited for the uh the nether update and to be honest i really haven't spent much time in there i've gone in and creative just to see the um new blocks and stuff but other than that like i haven't spent any time over there so i'm gonna go ahead and sleep and uh yeah let's make some uh diamond tools guys all right so here we go Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know if I want to waste diamonds on that right now. Uh, we might just stick to iron besides the pick. Um, let's go ahead and put those in there right away. Let's smelt up the rest of this. And then we'll have to smelt that as well. So we'll stick that there for now. Over here. And put all the other bricks here. So I'm now going to run down, actually, nope, we need three pieces of iron to make a bucket. With that bucket, you get some water, and this is only one block of water, so it's similar to what we had for our farm. Um, and I'm going to go down to some lava, and I think there was some already um, there. Um, right where we jumped down to go to that mine shaft. So I'm going to head over there and uh, this is going to be boring, but I'm going to get some obsidian. It takes forever to mine that stuff. Um, so I want to get 10 blocks. So that's what we'll do. All right, guys. So here we are. We just came down from that little water source. Um, and this is how I mine obsidian. I put down a bucket of water just because I'm pretty sure there is lava under here. You're going to take out your diamond pickaxe and you're just going to hold down your left mouse button. Um, now this is going to take a little bit, um, especially to get 10 of these. I think it's like 30 seconds just to get one. Um, and you don't even need to press your keyboard. The water is going to push you straight to the next piece. Um, and it's also going to turn any lava under you straight into obsidian or to cobblestone. So it's a great way to get your obsidian. Um, and it will even turn corners. So uh, it's kind of perfect. 
All right, guys, I'm going to keep mining this, and I will meet you back at the top where we make our first nether portal, and I will show you exactly how to do that as well. That looks like a really cool spot right up there. If we turn this to stairs, that would be pretty cool. Is there a sheep up there? Buddy, what you doing? Yeah? Oh, cool. Oh, there's two. Oh, man, did I interrupt something? Oh, that's... Ooh, sorry guys. Oh man, at least you guys went out in a happy way. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. Okay, anyway, so to build a portal, um, you're going to need some obsidian. Um, I don't like how this isn't really centered, so give me one sec. It's going to bother me if I don't. All right, there we go. So, yeah, that looks about right. So two on the bottom, one, two, three on the top, one, two, three, and then two across. And um, I am gonna skip the corners. Um, it looks really weird unless you put blocks here, but uh, as of right now, you know what? Sure. That works for me. Um, yeah, I don't really want to waste this obsidian. It's too hard to mine. And bam, guys. Diamonds and the nether all in the second episode. All right. Let's, let's jump through. Man, I'm hoping that we're in a new biome. Oh. Kind of. Yeah. Hey, all right. So, there is a bad part about this. I believe this is the magma cube spawn. Uh, and they are not fun to deal with, but uh, holy smokes. We are already up high in the nether. Okay, so we can go up. We can go over. And uh, you know what? I think we're going up. Now, I am going to grab some blocks. Um, which way? You know what? Let's go this way. Oh, I also realized I hear piglins, and I don't have any gold armor on. Nope, 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 nope. Bad idea. We are not strong enough to take any of those on. We have to get back here and... Well, for one, we have to sleep immediately, and then we uh, we definitely need to build some gold armor, just like a helmet or something, because um, you do not want to fight a bunch of piglins. Um, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. Yep. Perfect. Here we go. Ah. That was close. And you know what I'm going to do before we really get into it? Stairs. Only because we have the stone cutter, you're able to make 64 stairs with 64 blocks. Um, yeah, so these are the two right here. Beauty. I think I'll probably end up just Doing that for the first stair. Yep. Mm -hmm. Placing stairs with Phil. All right. So now we have our little staircase going up here. Let's get back in here. Uh, you know what? I'll even bring the stairs and build a little staircase right here. Let's, uh... Yeah, look at that. Oh, I knew it. I could hear them. Now let's go back to where we were and continue our stairs. Beauty. All right. Now this here, this is quartz. It is one of the easiest ways to get some decent experience um, just by coming in here and mining it. Um, I don't know what all of these blocks are. But, like, that's the guy I heard, and I did not want to deal with him at all. 
So what is this? This is basalt. So what can you do with it? Polish basalt. Ah, cool. We might have to uh, use some of this to for a build. So let's go and check out this. What is this? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Blackstone. So same thing. We can build all sorts of type of stuff with that. I don't know if we can do slabs and stairs, but that would be really cool. Having black. I mean, could you imagine now having this versus black wool? Anytime you've ever tried to build something with black, it's it's terrible. I'm just going to grab a full stack of this, actually. Um, yeah. And then we're going to keep exploring because I want to see more than just this for biomes. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Uh, you know what? Yep, 55. That's close enough to a stack. Now, I see gold, and I know it's mineable, but I don't know if the piglet will be PO'd at me if I mine gold, because I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Cool, cool. So, if any of that falls, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I think you can trade gold with these guys. Yep, they don't like when you mine gold. I was right. Uh, oh, guys, I almost completely forgot about something. When you are in the nether... Oh, look at that, Enderman. When you are in the nether, it is always smart to take a screenshot of your coordinates. Because without those, you have no idea how to get back to where you started. So I'm actually going to go right here. F3, F2 is a screenshot, um, 191, 180. It's actually pretty easy, 190 and 180 to remember uh, to get back to where we are. Um, yeah, that's that'll be pretty good, actually. All right, I'm going to keep exploring, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are now in a different biome. Look at this. This is a soul sand biome. Super cool. They have blue flames. And this is a new sand, I believe. Guys, another new biome. And a broken portal. Ooh, yep, we're going to check that out first. Now, I have to make sure not to open up a chest or anything like that in front of um, a pigland. So, I don't think anyone can see me. Not really the greatest, but that's okay. We'll take the stuff and look at this. I will take that. Awesome. That was pretty cool. And this is warped fungus, maybe? Crimson. Okay. So what is this? So just dirt. <laughs> All right. What is this? Warp. Oh, cool. And these are another light source. So I'm going to grab some of those. Don't know what item you're supposed to use. I'm guessing it's an axe. That's pretty cool. Shroom lights. It's a cool mushroom too. Warped fungus. That's what that is. And what's this one? Crimson fungus. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm learning. What is this? Did I pick any of those up? Did I pick that up? Oh, roots. I don't really need some roots, but yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. I am excited to be in the nether. This is so cool. Oh. Um. Okay. Jeez. You can have your fire. Gosh. So angry. 
Yeah, um, those um, hoglins, I believe they're called. Yeah, they, they want to eat your face off pretty much all the time. So, stay away. Um, I want to make it over to here. So I do want to go and get some of those bones. So, hopefully we can reach some. Gosh, I hate walking on soul sand. But I hear that there's soul speed now, which is pretty cool. It'll speed things up, huh? I think I might end up having to either tunnel my way over or build my way over. Or down. I could go right to this block here and use that as a tunnel down think oh gosh I don't know I just want to get over there um you know what I'm just gonna do it the old let's make a walkway one wide and hope I don't get hit by a ghast <laughs> all right let me uh, gather up some uh, blocks and I'll head over all right and guys uh, just for your information when you're doing this you're pretty much holding the um, S button, your shift at the same time, so it's walking backwards. The shift doesn't allow you to fall off a block. And then you're just pretty much right clicking. Um, and that's going to place the block just behind you as you're leaning off of it. Gosh, what a scary, scary thing to do. All right, don't look at him. Don't. I'm not even here, bud. All right, so look at this. We got three new biomes within a good small distance from us. So that's pretty sweet, and I will definitely take those bone blocks. Um, I would also like to set up kind of a trader, uh, a trading with the piglins. I know you're able to do that, and I think that's pretty cool. They give you some pretty cool items, I hear. So I definitely want to get into that. Oh, guys, I just jumped down from that, and I see a fortress. Okay, I'm going to get fairly close, but not close enough to make anything spawn. And I need to hide myself away from that ghast. And I am going to F3 and F2 that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know that they aren't as common now since they have all this new stuff. Oh. Do it again. Hey, I thought I was able to hit that back at you. There we go. Ah, nailed it. Suck on that one, ghast. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it. I think it's time to get back. We are not really suited to be in here. So All right, well, that was a blast having to go back there and get my stuff. Luckily, I had the F3 screen open when I died, and I was able to see the exact coordinates of where I died from that stupid ghast. And, uh, yeah, so it wasn't too bad to go back and get all the uh, all my stuff. But, you know what, it, it is what it is. It was still kind of a pain in the butt, but we got it all back. We just lost some levels, but that's okay with me. Anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. I want to thank you a lot for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I cannot believe we've managed to get diamonds and head to the nether all in the same episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I can't wait to start making some farms. 
Maybe we're going to work on a house next episode. Um, so stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you want to see uh, coming up in these episodes. Um, I will definitely make sure I do them. So uh, again, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, have a great day.